So my top list here for uh, things that help uh, reduce the inflammatory load in the body and actually prevent inflammatory buildup. I would say fish oil, uh, two to three grams a day is uh, very safe and very easy to take um, along with a, a fish meal several times a week. Uh, once you get beyond three, four, five grams a day, then it can affect your clotting ability somewhat, um, but definitely see your doctor about that. Um, other spices that uh, I like to use, turmeric is uh, a very powerful uh, anti-inflammatory. And, uh, and I also use ginger and cayenne. Uh, the benefit of cayenne is that it can uh, dilate the vessels um, depending on, on where you're trying to uh, achieve the dilation, but it's a very good uh, circulatory stimulant. Uh, oftentimes, I'll also use nettles, ginkgo, or boswellia as anti-inflammatories. And there's a myriad of uh, enzymes that can also be used, including bromelain from pineapple, uh, papain from papaya, and uh, tart cherry is a very powerful uh, anti-arthritic. Uh, hormones, vitamin D, melatonin, uh, DHEA, uh, can also be quite powerful in reducing inflammatory load. And of course, antioxidants, uh, CoQ10, uh, resveratrol, glutathione, and uh, quercetin can reduce histamine levels within the body. And uh, of course, Inflammation, inflammaging is also linked to uh, our immune systems. So we want to uh, uh, make sure that by reducing the inflammatory load on the body, we, we often prevent a lot of the diseases of aging, including Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, so this is very important. Uh, cardiovascular risk, um, similar. Uh, quite a bit of research in the last decade uh, linking uh, the CRP and homocysteine levels to the risk of heart disease and um, the uh, ability to reduce these are mainly through diet and uh, nutrient levels so as long as we can keep these levels and the, and they're the same list as we went through before, these, these things are very powerful in reducing the amount of inflammation in the body. Notice some of these uh, nutrients are very powerful at dilating vessels again. So uh, things like arginine, uh, glutathione, vitamin E, uh, they really promote circulatory uh, health. Depression has also been linked to uh, inflammation within the body. Um, there is a correlation between major depressive disorders and the ratio of uh, dietary omega-6 to 3 levels. And this is a really interesting study that was uh, correlating C-reactive protein to the risk of death. Um, and it's one of the best tests to really uh, look at uh, your overall risk of longevity. Um, I would add uh, looking at your waist hip circumference, body mass index, uh, triglyceride levels will also give you an idea of whether your body is getting too many carbohydrates or uh, your glycemic load may be too high, let's say. Um, Low HDL could indicate that you need more exercise. And of course, genetics is always a, a factor, um, but I would say it's a very minor factor. Um, and we're uh, much more likely to create inflammation from environmental exposure, whether it's the food that we eat, um, or the toxins we're exposed to as, as far as creating chronic inflammation. So inflammation has even been linked with uh, creating a lower IQ. 
uh, premature death, uh, higher risk of a deadly heart attack that, that uh, people don't survive from, obviously. Um, so keeping the balance between these omega-6s and omega-3s can uh, really uh, keep you current as far as preventing inflammatory burden. Uh, also, laughter um, helps reduce inflammation. Vitamin C, again, uh, antioxidants. Um, the, they also link the uh, correlation between CRP and the risk of uh, joint replacement. So a direct link there to arthritis. And uh, poor sleep habits have also been shown to increase inflammation. Um, uh, could be related to growth hormone levels or even melatonin. Um, inflammation, of course, uh, can create bone loss because our body uses calcium pulled out of the bone to help neutralize the acidity within the, the tissues in the blood. Um, we've uh, talked about uh, being overweight and the risk of uh, heart disease and inflammation. Uh, yoga has been shown to uh, drastically uh, relax people, put them in more of a parasympathetic state, which helps with inflammatory changes. And, uh, and of course, Alzheimer's uh, and dementias have been linked to inflammation. Um, <clears throat> more and more research is being done to monitor the risk of cancer by, again, <coughs> looking at CRP and homocysteine and fibrinogen, uh, all inflammatory risk factors.